Well, I've been making some rings over the Christmas period. This is New Year's Eve, and I thought I'd just show you what I've done over the festive period. That one was a really battered old one shilling. It was bent, it was scratched to heck. So what I had to do was actually just mark that surface with a Dremel to give it a unique finish of its own. All these rings are now for sale. And I'll just tell you, this one is a size K, if anybody is interested. This one is made from a French franc. It's got a lovely patina on there, which I've applied to give that that antique look. Got a lovely leafy floral pattern around the ring. And that one is a size P. Let's check that from both sides. Actually, it might be an O. There's O on one side, P on the other. So I go for a P. <laughs> go for a P. Mm, anyway. uh, this next one I'm going to show you, I've just done now, and it's a Q. Um, if you want these sizes, by the way, in an uh, American size, just let me know, and I'll tell you what they are. Now, that has got three words around it. That's a beautiful little ring, and I made that one completely by accident. I'll tell you how in just a second. But it's got three words around there, and the legend inside is nice and clear. It's a very nice thin band. And when I say it was an accident, it really was an accident. I'd actually uh, put a hole through the ring and annealing it, and then I put it on the press to actually start um, shaping the ring, and the middle came out. So we just get this in the right way round for you. The 1515 is the date on there. That is a lovely silver one mark. That's 90% silver one mark. 1915. If I just turn that over, you can see the ribbing on the top there. And uh, that's turned out pretty nice too. Now the size of that one is S on one side, S and a half on the other. So we'll say that one is an S. This one I really do like. It's so unusual and a beautiful patina has come through on that one. It looks like um, slightly gold in colour, but that's a natural colour. I haven't applied anything apart from some antiquing patina to enhance that gold rich colour. Um, and it's got stars around it. It's a five denarii. No, it's not a Roman denarii. That is a Yugoslavian coin. And it's absolutely lovely. I think that's a 1974, if I remember rightly. Uh, yeah, there we go. I think you can see the... Yeah, 1974. Delightful ring, that one. Um, that one is a U on one side and a V and a half on the other. So the smallest side is a U. And this one I've had now for a while and I've now made it expandable. Now I made that from a teaspoon, stainless steel, and it had natural indentations where the stones are. So I thought, yeah, I'll put some stones in there. I've got these hot fixed stones, which you apply a little bit of heat to. I used a blowtorch. And Mrs. Hat wore the ring for a day over Christmas and four of the stones dropped out. So I had to find a better idea. And in the end, I found some jeweler's glue and I patiently reapplied them because you get two seconds once contact is made between two surfaces and they're not adjustable anymore. And I managed to get them all perfectly aligned. Now, I've also managed to make that so it's self-adjustable between one to two sizes. Because somebody was, uh, Christy I think it was in the USA, was telling me how much she wanted to acquire that but it wouldn't fit, it was half a size out. It now is adjustable. So I'll tell you what I've currently got it adjusted at. Uh, US is six and a half, and it will go to probably seven, and UK is N. So there we go guys, um, I've had one or two failures of some lovely um, sterling silver coins who, which just ripped um, as I was attempting to stretch them. I have learned a lesson from doing that, but these ones are my successes over the Christmas period into New Year and they are now available for sale. Uh, the cheapest one is £15, which is 
the, the French fraternity, sorry, the Belgian fraternity liberty in the middle there. And the most expensive is actually the one that I'm wearing at the moment, which most of you have seen before. And that's the blue enameled 1958. Two shillings. There we go. So, Happy New Year. Hope you've enjoyed the video through the back end of December about my ring making. And I hope you'll subscribe and join me in 2017 as I continue to experiment with a few more trash converted to treasure. Beautifully imperfect. And I hope one day you would like to wear one of these too. Thanks for joining me. Making videos for you because he's a YouTube creator. Scenes ready to watch on all your screens. New videos every week, so please subscribe.